Alright, what up guys? It's your boy ps 360 hv 2 and today we're trying out a game called Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. Now, the folks over at Ubisoft hit me up and they asked me if I'd be interested in checking out their game, so I figured why not. So, this video is sponsored by Ubisoft. Shout out to those guys. If you guys want to check out the games for yourself, go ahead and click the link that I'll leave in the description below. Alright, so, I've already started to check out the game. I've made it through the tutorial and I've played a few dungeons already, but what I wanted to do was summon some more creatures, so I actually went ahead and bought some coins in order to summon some more creatures. So we're pretty much about to do a multi-summon right now. So let's go on ahead and get that multi-summon done. Alright, so I should be able to buy I believe nine epic soul stones so let's go on ahead and get into the first summon all right so I don't have any four stars wait okay okay so I just pulled the street three star this is my first three star it's a fire type and it's called Kappa so uh, once again this game is a creature game and you basically collect creatures and and like go through dungeons uh, okay, so we got snake fly. I don't have this one either. It's another fire type So so far we have a three star and a two star not too bad Black fang rogue. Okay, she looks pretty interesting. So we've been pulling straight fire types, which is pretty interesting We pulled three straight fire types uh, Let's see what we can get Rune sentinel another fire type hmm so four fire types in a row, one three star, and a hey, okay. So we have an earth style arcane bird. That's also the first time I pulled that guy. Uh, so wait, okay, lightning, bright fawn, our second three star. Okay, another fire type, but I'll take it. Pretty cool. I didn't have this one. I had another bright fawn, but it was like a fairy type or a light type. So I'll take it. Yeah. Stone Guard. I already have this guy, Stone Guard. Uh, and the last summon, let's see if we can get a four star out of this. Uh, no. We get a fire type and Alright, so um there you have it, guys. There's your summonings. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some dungeons to test out these new creatures. Alright, guys, so let's go on ahead and uh head into the floating islands and test out these new guys that I just got. All right, so all right, so I can take three monsters in there with me. I'm going to swap all these guys out as I've already tried them. I want to try some new ones. Let's put this guy in Kappa, a three star. Let's put the other three star in Bright Fawn. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. We already have two fire types. So I don't want to pick another fire type. Let's try out this chick. Yeah, let's go with her. All right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this team. Let's go, man. All right, so here's the battle screen. Uh, basically, uh, there are elemental advantages and disadvantages. So the red arrow that you see means that uh, it's weak against that type of creature. The yellow arrow means it's neutral. And when you have an advantage, it'll be a green arrow. So let's go on ahead and uh, use this guy and attack uh, the neutral looking alligator because he'll at least do neutral damage and not do negative damage. Right? Easy peasy, right? Let's go. 497 damage. All right. So clearly three stars are on another level. Okay, 153. All right, come on, Bright Fawn. See, Bright Fawn is a fire type, so she's not gonna do as much damage to, the, oh, well, never mind. Well, 231 is still a lot of damage, actually, so. All right, let's get this guy up out of here. So I also gotta say, for a mobile game, the graphics are actually really good. Like, you gotta admit. All right, so you can actually attack too. Your your character can attack. He can cast spell, spell. So I'm gonna use this 
and attack all of these guys at once. All right, let's see. Uh, we got Kappa. Let's try out this different attack. Mmm, 900 damage. Instant kill, bro. Yo, is this Kappa creature is a beast, man. All right. Let's try out a different attack with this guy, too. Okay, so that, that lowers defense. Unfortunately, you didn't kill him, but... Uh, let's see what this does. Okay, so that doesn't actually do any damage, but it does poison your opponent. And he's out it. Okay, so we're about to fight Articuno, apparently. Uh, Alright, so... She must be a water type, so it's not going to do much damage. I'm going to try to take out the wolves first, and then we'll focus on the big bird in the middle. Alright, so... Sun Antler. Oh, okay, that did a lot of damage. Alright, so... Should I hit him with the staff? Yeah, wait, yeah, let's hit him with the staff. Okay. Alright, Kappa, uh, she has any, the advantage over you, but let's see what you can do. Alright, 300 is still pretty good damage, to be honest, so I'll take it. Okay, and she's dead. <laughs> Alright, so yo, man, these three stars are a lot stronger uh, than the two stars I was playing with earlier. So, I would have liked, liked to got a four star, but unfortunately I didn't. But yeah, man. That's essentially Might and Magic Elemental Guardians. Let me know what you guys thought of the gameplay. If you want to check it out once again, I'll leave a link to the Google Play Store and iOS Store in the description. Uh, shout out to Ubisoft once again for the sponsor. And it's your boy PS360HD2, man. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.